Bamboo. Everyone has to work to their potential. That's my job, knowing what their potential is. So, I always want them to go one little step beyond where they've been. Sometimes that's hard, but it's so worth it, and they really learn from each other. There's a certain community standard that I and they agree on, that you work, once you work to your potential, you just develop that. So in kindergarten and first grade, everyone's an artist. That's how kids start. They're born that way. No one thinks of themselves as an artist or a non-artist. Everyone does art. And we always draw, we always paint, but there's always that room for creativity of the person mixing into the skills. I do like the old time craft projects. I think in the digital age, uh, we're losing our tactile abilities. And this is every part of art education, including Jewish sources, museum trips, art of history, everything. Pure creativity. The kids always want to be building, so anything that gives them the skills, the life skills, that's some of my favorite projects. I introduced quilt design to fifth graders because they're studying colonial America. And I showed them all kinds of examples of quilts. And we talked about patterns and repetition and why they made quilts. And then they go make their sketches and all of these ideas came out. Using the Shabbat table with designs around it, using geometry, using stencils. So we're doing this year animation in every class. We have a little animation festival in May. That's Shechter. Every you give an idea and then they run with it. That's why I love it here. I feel like it's a perfect partnership. I come, I'm ready for art, they come to that room, they're ready for art, everyone gets to work. Every time it's very positive energy and I feed off of that as they do. So it's quite good.